Hello, Hogzilla here again. Gonna do another video in my series of Sim games. This one is Sim Farm. Now, I have done some videos in the past on Sim Farm for speedrun.com, where um, I've done the million dollar speedrun and the 200 pig speedrun. But today I'm just gonna do a basic um, walkthrough. Um, slow play um, so let's get started here uh, first thing here is I'm going to design my own region I want um, medium rainfall um, temperature will keep at the medium to high maybe we'll increase that rainfall a little bit there and I'm keeping the wind speed as low as possible just because if um, you have the wind speed too high, then um, you can lose nutrients in the soil and have to fertilize more often. So I just generally keep that as low as possible. Um, I like this map here. Um, it's close to the river in case I need it. The town is far away as these things will um, expand towards each other. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's pause here first and go through some of the stuff. Um, we'll expand this out. Uh, first thing here is you got the area to create your farm. You can buy your tractors, any seeds you want to, but I generally don't. I just buy them at whatever market price. Um, if you really want to go into super micromanagement, you could, in theory, uh, buy all your seeds at low price when the crop itself is selling at a low price. Uh, but it's just a lot of messing around for casual play. You have your livestock. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Sometimes they can just be a big pain to manage. Um your silos and sheds we'll add this stuff later so i won't talk about it now and then you can buy your fertilizer and fungicide herbicide pesticide um i generally don't do this um i just leave the auto buy option turned on um up here in the options um if you didn't have this turned on then you would need to uh, to manually buy and place them on your farm i just don't see the point of doing that um, other things, we have the selling, if you want to sell your crops, your cattle, or your machinery, which we might be doing later in this video. Um, this you'll get at the end of every year to let you know how well the town and farm is doing. Uh, weather, generally I don't use this for anything unless I have the wind on. Um, this I will use from time to time to see what my estimated taxes are at the end of the year. Uh, always make sure you have enough money to pay your estimated taxes. Else um, you can um, get hit with penalties or get your farm taken away if they're too high. Loans. Um, I definitely use this often in casual play. This is um, not allowed during speed running, so um, I never use it during a speed run, but um, for just normal casual play, I'll probably use this at some point. And then this is the market value screen. This is very important. You can go from screen or crop to crop and see what the price is over a 30-week history. Um generally i plant strawberries and as you can see it is a little bit up uh, right now for the price up top we have our options um, auto lease i generally turn this off because uh, what it'll do is if you're short a tractor for something it'll charge you 200 dollars for that tractor wow well, you might as well just go and buy the tractor at that point um, so i always turn this off Auto buy we touched on already. Auto messaging is the messaging up at the top. 
auto dozing is um, when I build this uh, fields, as you'll see here in a little bit, if I had this turned off, I would have to manually delete all these trees and rocks before I could place that field in that location where um, the item is. Auto go to, if we had disasters turned on, it would automatically uh, go to that disaster. Um, I'm going to be turning off disasters here um, so that it isn't going to matter anyway. We went through all the windows already and we have just a few miscellaneous other items. So um, let's get started here. First thing I like to do is get four strawberry fields put down. And I already messed up on that one, so let's go ahead and we're gonna have to go back and bulldoze that uh, but in the meantime we can get started here buying other stuff let's go ahead and buy some sheds to house our machinery so you have two options for roads you have the paved road and the cheap road so the the dirt road as you can see at the very bottom of the screen says twenty dollars as compared to a paved road which is thirty dollars so you think oh I can save ten dollars per section of road I put in well it'll really beat on the machinery um, and the machinery won't last as long. So you might as well right away go ahead, buy the $30 road. Machinery will last longer. I'm trying to concentrate on doing this. Usually I will screw up some section just because I'm very prone to doing that. So what we're going to do here is I'm not going to bulldoze that. Um, you'll see why in a second. I'm just going to um, put the irrigation um, at the bottom of the field instead of the top. Let's go ahead. Sometimes the machinery can get caught outside the fence. So I just go ahead and I just bulldoze the fence instead of using the gate. Um, so let's go ahead. Put in our irrigation ditches. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the field at a, ma uh, a proper um, drainage water if we click into this field here we can see here we have all our um, disease pests and weed how you say gauges and then we have this water and soil gauge um, we want this water to be right down the middle and I will play with these irrigation ditches until each one of these are in the middle um, usually it's the same for all fields um, of that same crop type. So oranges might need a bigger ditch than uh, a strawberry. But at this point, let's go ahead and add our road out of town. And add our silos. And what I'll do here, just to be a little cheap, is I'm just going to buy four tractors. 
but only two plows and two planters. And then I'm going to buy four sprayers. And usually if you have a crop like corn or, or barley or or anything that doesn't require pickers, then you would buy a harvester and a trailer. Well, in this case, we have strawberries, so we only need the trucks, uh, which is why strawberries and is a great um, item to always plant. Um, now we have that. We can build our road down, and I will be quite shocked if I successfully draw this road with no issues as trying to do a straight line with me is usually very difficult um, and what I'll usually do too is I'll fill in the town roads here Okay, so we got the town roads filled in. We got our roads created. Um, one other thing I like to do, because I only got two plows and two planters, um, <clears throat> I like to stagger my fields. So what I'm going to do is take... each of these fields and move them back. So I took them and moved this whole field back uh, one week. So now the next field I want to be on May 2nd to harvest. And while this will impact my uh, amount of money I get, well, when harvesting, for this first time uh, after that it'll be um, full matured fields every time after that so let's go ahead and let's play this ahead a little bit uh, let's just get this just for later we want to um, be able to put in more silos. Um, actually, one other thing I want to do before we get started here is I want to load in some different crops. So since soybeans generally doesn't do well for me, I'm going to replace that with these uh, gladiolus. And generally lettuce doesn't do well for me. I will replace that with oranges. And as you can see, there's other crops you can bring in. I'm also going to bring in sunflowers in place of carrots, another item that generally doesn't do well for me. Um, so let's get started here. So as you can see, um, it says all machinery is still in use. Well, it's just the price you pay initially here. To get going um, as you can see the fields are a little dry I probably have too much uh, irrigation so let's get rid of let's get rid of some And this is what I uh, fear. Sometimes you get a field like this. I should have probably went with maximum rainfall when first creating the, the map. Um, but what I can do oh, the map is just 
just good enough on water. Um, sometimes at the start of the map, it might get real dry as the first couple of weeks go by. Um, and that's what happened in this case. It worked itself out. Um, as you can see here, um, strawberries um, are having some issues with weeds and pests. So now it's just spraying the fields. If you have the Windows version of this game, you can go up to the uh, farm expert and select crops and scroll through each of these crops and they'll say uh, what temperature they like um, and what their resistance is to certain um, pests or weeds or disease. As you can see, oranges here are all low while something like uh, sorghum has high, uh, but the, it's very low on the uh, price when you take it to market. So um, generally I stay away from that item. I can't think of any other crop that has all high. I, I thought there's one more, um, but I can't think of it um, offhand. Yep, and this is what I was afraid of um, by taking all those ditches out. Now, whoops, I have just given that an extra, uh, I think, herbicide. But now my fields are too wet. So now we will go in, put in three irrigation ditches, and that should, yep, that got us to a happy medium. Um, always a, a little bit of playing around uh, when you initially um, set up your own custom map that um, you might be dry and wet and you'll have to play with the irrigation ditches. What I'm doing now is I'm hitting all the fields with some fertilizer. You generally have to do this about midway through each um, growing cycle of uh, of a crop um, for strawberries at least um, some you'll never have to fertilize or fertilize rarely uh, but strawberries you need to hit uh, generally once with a dose of fertilizer so let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit here as this field is um, nearing maturity and the harvest season and there's not much else to do um, in the meantime. Now, another little tip and trick. If you want higher um, harvesting prices, one thing you can do in the week or weeks before um, harvesting is you come out here and you might do a drought. And the drought has the potential to raise prices. Um, in this case, I won't do that as that's a, that's the cheating method to getting more money. And I'm, I'm a fair and honest person. As you can see, my farm field value here for this uh, strawberry field is up to 4,600. I don't expect to get the full amount in this case. Um... As you can see already, I'm already down a little bit on fertilizer um, for this field, but I'm just going to let it ride at this point and see how long it can stretch out the current doses. So we're getting close to 10,000. We'll do a quick check on taxes. Um, for this, we'll just hang on a little bit longer here to that and see if strawberry prices go up. What I'll do is I'll keep strawberries off to the side here and if I see the price go up I'll quick sell what I have in my uh, silo here. 
As you can see, by having the staggered, each tractor is able to work on one individual field at a time, uh, saving me money on having to buy uh, multiple uh, plows and, and planters. So now we're into the uh, next uh, growing cycle, as I'll call it here. And we're already getting um, some uh, issues with the fields that require sprays. Okay, so we're halfway in on fertilizer. So let's go ahead and hit the fields again. The one kind of weird thing with this game is like if you do spraying of any kind, whether fertilizer, pesticide, herbicide, or fungicide, and it's at the end of the week and you go into that Saturday into Sunday and the new week is starting, it'll automatically end all spraying and apply it to that field and kind of move it ahead in its, its cycle. Um... Just kind of a weird thing with the game. Another thing you might encounter with the game, we're definitely not going to see this in this video, is I want to keep it uh, relatively short today, is um, I call it the, the max negative glitch. I don't know if it's got an official name out there. It's where you have so many fields and so much money coming in that it almost like it... it, it rolls over in memory and you have like a huge negative number like negative 50 million out here which then when it comes to tax time it's game over um i generally always get that at some point when i filled out the whole map and i have all this money coming in without spending it um but it usually takes a long time for that to happen. Now you can see strawberries went up a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if they're going to go up the next cycle here. And they didn't. They went back down. I should probably have sold there. I'm going to sell right now so I have some money. Because if you don't have money for the pickers, then uh, the field doesn't get harvested. And the crop goes to waste. So... Um, that is why um, I just did a sell right there. So I figured I was going to end up having to hit it with a, another uh, round of fertilizer just to get it through this. through this growing cycle. So usually, um, when you get this close to harvesting, I will not um, spray um, herbicide, pesticide, or fungicide, just because you're about to harvest this field. How much damage can this item do? And it's going to get harvested, um, and the disease will go away. The only thing I would hit these fields with is fertilizer because it um, that'll carry over from field to field. As you can see, strawberries have gone up a little bit again. Um, ready to harvest now. Um, I'm just going to let it ride for a little bit here and see if I can get a little more money. If this was actually going, uh, if this were skyrocketing into well over 10,000, I might consider doing futures. So hopefully at this point, um, I was going to be able to do a futures buy on a field, but um, the price has just been uh, suppressed, prolonged without me doing the, the, the drought glitch. Um, so I'll explain it right now. Um, so over here, you can plan any fertilizers in the future or if you want to do some pesticide herbicide or fungicide you could plant it in this this how you say growing map or schedule i generally don't 
Um, but let me just go ahead and hit these fields here with some spray. And then we'll hop back to futures. And these fields are being very uh, troublesome I'm here. Okay, we've got 8,300 here. Let's go ahead and just sell. Uh, man, these fields are being real troublesome. And I should have probably hung on a little longer. The, the, the fields went up. But let's say that no, this field is worth 2470 Let's say that this was actually 14000 and I think the price is going to go down on strawberries. If I use this option in the upper right-hand corner and apply it on the week that we're currently on where the yellow line is, that is locking in the price. So if this was like 14000 then... When this field gets harvested, you would get 14000 no matter what happens with the price, whether it goes up or down. So if the price continues to go up, well, you're out that money. You're not getting that money if it goes up to $20,000. Um, but if it goes back down to 6600 or whatever it is, then that is what is considered in this chart to be a, a futures sold or if you lose money futures losses so here at the end of the year um, we have an option to um, have the town expand we're gonna go ahead and select residential you had the choice between commercial airport and um, and the recreational option Let's go down here, fill this in, and I'll talk a little bit more. Um, residential, obviously you add houses to the town. Commercial, you add more commerce to the town. Airport allows you as the farm to buy an airplane and spray across the fields. Airplanes can be a little bit tricky um, it took me actually a little bit when I first bought this game back in the 90s. Uh, I think I got this game like in 94, 95, somewhere in there. Um, that you got to learn how to ch control the altitude of the, um, the plane. And, um and turn the spray on and off. You buy the spray at the airport and you can fly that around and then you gotta land the plane. Then you gotta be able to land the plane on that airport tile else you crash the plane and you gotta buy a whole nother plane. Um, so I just generally like spraying and that's the best thing for me. Recreational allows for uh, the town fair and the rodeo to occur where you can um, you can either send your farm animals um, to be judged and get money, or um, you can bet on your cousin Zeke or whatever to um, win the rodeo. And the amounts you get are minimal. Like, you put in $500 and you can get 1000 back, which is nothing. It's a more of an annoyance in the game. Um, well, I can't remember what you get for prizes on farm animals but uh, that's the deal with airport and uh, recreational so I paused the game here momentarily as strawberries got up to 11 uh, 637 so I'm just gonna check the farm field uh, prices and um, I see here that um, I'm thinking I'm going to do one here just to show you what happens. I probably normally wouldn't have uh, tried to do a futures there. Um, but 
Okay, so it went up even further. Uh, I definitely am going to do a futures here. I'm going to let it ride one more week on these two fields. Just see what happens. Um, so um, it's up to 14. 16. Okay, let's hit these two with futures. I just don't want to take that chance of losing out on the money. Um, so I lost, I lost 5,000 on that, but it's just a chance you got to take. And you can see the market just crashed on strawberries. So these fields are locked in at the higher price. So I should get some gains here. I did get some gains. And the, now it's bottomed out. So I definitely am going to make a lot of money here on futures. Yep, I made about 12000 here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some land further south. And so that allows me here to delete this fencing. I think we need to get rid of this bottom fence. Let's see here when this is supposed to plant. Oops, we almost bulldozed that field. That would have been not good. So we want to plant on March 4th and the first week in April. Um, so let's go ahead and let her go ahead a little bit. And I'm just trying to keep up with the staggering. I'll probably stay at four sprayers just because... Odds are of every field needing to be sprayed at the exact same time is probably minimal. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Get the irrigation in. So. Go ahead. Let that field be planted. And wait for the first week of April to occur. And there we go. So we're going to let that uh, get planted. Um, and what I think we're going to do is we're going to end this video here. Um, this is a basic walkthrough. I am Hogziller. Please leave me a like or a comment. And we'll see you next time. Bye.